Hey, East Texas, thanks for staying up late with us. We had quite the day, another summer scorcher, and tomorrow will be just as sweltering. Clouds and radar here. We do have some storms out by Oklahoma City just south of that. I think that will stay out to the west of us, so we look good. But we will have some rainstorm chances as we go into the middle of the week, and that could give us a brief short little period of relief if any as we look at our temperatures right now we have temperatures currently sitting in the lower 80s if not that some upper 70s out there so very warm once again and pretty muggy too now we haven't really had a lot of rain recently so the mosquito the skeeter meter should be pretty low right now we need uh, ample moisture which we do have it lingering in the air but we don't really have a lot of puddles that should be sitting around so that's some good news but just in case if you are heading out tonight to just be aware that it is pretty humid Forecasted overnight lows, pretty much how we're feeling. Some areas will just dip down into the upper 70s, mid 70s for other spots, and that's about it. Which typically this time of the year, we do have mid 70s for overnight lows. But yeah, it just has been very uncomfortable lately. What's causing it? Well, this upper air pattern, some of you may have heard me mention this last night. Basically, we have this broad area of high pressure that's just above in the center of our atmosphere that's kind of just steering all this heat into our region. Region. It's not budging anywhere. In fact, it's going to be plopped on top of us over the next couple of days here as that center of that high that's above us shifts a little bit further our way. We could get some rain chances towards the middle of the week, likely during the afternoon hours. But the main story here is all that heat that we are expecting once again for tomorrow. This is tomorrow around 3 p.m. Our feels like heat index temperatures will be in the lower hundreds for a lot more folks than what we had for today. And that's why that heat advisory, which I'll show you in a minute, has been extended for a couple areas. Again, uh, this is actually going to extend a longer period of time. So that means feels like temperatures will be in the hundreds for a longer extended period throughout the day than what we felt for today. As we go into tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, it will still be pretty uncomfortable. Heat advisory is in place. I just mentioned this for tomorrow. We're expecting heat index values up to 109. And you can see a lot more counties covered under this for that reason. As far as the drought goes, July has seen, at least in East Texas, a nice amount of precip. So right now... Our drought monitor is not looking too bad for the entire state of Texas. Usually our western regions, they deal with some drought. They do have some drought conditions out by Big Bends, but here in East Texas, so far, we're not worrying about it. But one thing that we do have to worry about is the UV index in our area. When you go outside and your shadow is shorter than you, it's time to seek some shade. You just want to take it inside or find a shady area because UV index is very high, and that means you are producing a lot more vitamin D and you can actually get sunburn in less than 15 minutes. So it's really something you need to take seriously. Next seven days here, we will have plenty of sunshine, plenty of heat. And again, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we do have those rainstorm chances, mainly Tuesday and Wednesday, throughout the afternoon and evening hours. It will be pretty isolated, pop up, but anybody that does see that rain will likely have some relief, even if it's for a short amount of time. This forecast is brought to you by Baylor Scott & White.